Welcome to Life Ever Fit. My name is Angela. It's great to have you here today to work out with me. It is a low impact workout. Therefore, no jumping going on here today. Our focus today is going to be the upper body and we will specifically be working on chest, biceps and oblique. As for equipment today, we're going to be using dumbbells, a balance ball and a mat. My dumbbells here are 5 pounds, 10 pounds and 15 pounds. If you have only one set of dumbbells, then use what you have. Subscribe today, I do post workouts at least two times a week. Also go ahead and click on the notification bell so that every time when I do post a workout, you are notified. When you are done with the workout, please leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you and also click the like on the video. Let's start the workout. Two blocks of work. Both of them will use the balance ball, so make sure it's nearby. And then we will also be using the dumbbells. And at the end, we have two minutes of stretching. So make sure that you stay put to the end, okay? Stretching is just as important as the workout itself, all right? So for the warm up, we will have five moves, 30 seconds each, two rounds. Second round, we add dumbbells. Sounds good? All ready. So bring your feet wider than your hips, arms up. And first thing, you're gonna give me here some squats. I love starting a workout with squats. Gets the big movers moving, yes? <laughs> no kidding. Quads and glutes. And today, here we go. Lifting arms way up to the sky. And as you do so, try to keep your arms parallel to each other, pointing up the entire time. Very good. Now, hold on to your waist and step out to the side for four with your right leg. For three, for two, for one. Other side. Give me four, and three, and two, and one. Go again to the right. Three, two, and one. Go to the left. Three more two very good now side to side step touch keep your hand on the waist and keep it very light a step touch here is a simple touch of your toes close towards the middle of your foot there we go keep it there shoulders always tall right on add your elbows Good, keep the elbows bent so that there is always like a 90 degree right there between forearm and upper arm. Very good, start breathing in deep and out, deep and out, you got it. And if you can, speed up a bit, you got it. Again, legs keep doing the same, but this time a slight difference of the tiptoes adding an arm. If that's confusing, just start with the feet first and push, push, push. There we go. Looking good, looking good. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's repeat what we just done. Add the two dumbbells. Okay. Your first sets of squats. Keep the dumbbells right here, slightly touching your shoulder. Let's go, down and up. Are we ready to bring the arms up? Give me two more right here. Very good, now up and keep them up. Oh, that's not always very sweet. <laughs> so if you feel that that really intensifies the workout in the sense of becoming very uncomfortable on your lower back, go ahead and drop the dumbbells right away and keep your arms up. You got it. And time. Already. One. <laughs> Remember this one? Two. This time we add a little bit of dumbbell work here. One more. To the right. Let's go to the left for four. Three. Two. Going to the right. Bring that dumbbell down and in. Down and in. Right on. Go to the left. Right, lovely. Okay, keep 
Keep your hands on your waist. Step touch. Okay. Breathing is becoming a bit more intensified. That's good. Your heart rate is going to where we want it to. Shoulders tall. Yes. Let your upper body shine. Here we go. Four, three, two, add your arms. Go, go. You got it. Right on. Ooh, a lot more powerful when we bring the dumbbells into the game, right? Keep going. Touching lightly, lightly. Move, move, good. Give me four, three, two. Now cross, punch, go, go. Yeah, see the toes act slightly different. Yeah. Again, if that's complicated, just stay here. Right on. Go over. Oh, that twist is so good for you. Oh, last four. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. That's your warm up. Let's get ready for block one. Here in block two, we're going to be working chest and biceps. We're gonna use dumbbells and we're gonna use the ball as your bench. So you're gonna lay on it and you're gonna sit on it. There will be chest presses, chest flies, and biceps curls interspersed, all right? So let's come into seated. There will be lots of reps here. And from this seated position with your dumbbells here on your lap, roll forward so that the ball comes towards your upper back. All righty, and that your hips are free from the ball. Feet are firm on the floor. Bring the dumbbells up, wrists forward, and hold them straight up. From here, we press. Elbows down and up, down and up. Keep the stomach in nice and tight, and yes, you will feel a squeeze on the booty. And as you do this, you will notice that the hips want to sag down, so it is your job to keep the gluteals tight and avoiding that to happen. Alrighty, each move here will go for 45 seconds. And there we go, one more. Good, tuck the dumbbells in close to your chest, roll back up, sit, and as for me here, I'm going to change to heavier. All right, bring the dumbbells forward, tuck the stomach in, chest forward, wrists forward, biceps curls. All right, so if you're picking a heavier set, you can always go to single arm and get the job done right there. All right, good. Ideally is that you keep working double arm. Now when it comes to biceps, I really like to vamp up my weight selection. Yeah, because I gotta feel like there is resistance to fight against. Got the idea? Okay, 45 seconds, probably almost over. There we go. And time. You may want to change if you have back to um, your lighter dumbbells. I am going to go chest press with heavier from now on. Okay, once I find my stability, because it could wobble a little bit, right? We start pressing. There we go. And again, I'm working with heavier weights here. So speed is not what I'm after. I want to get as many reps in as I can in 45 seconds. Yeah, and drop those elbows just about below the ball and push up. Yes. And press. So we are in round two. As you can tell, we have two exercises combined here, chest presses, and we're gonna return to biceps, biceps curls shortly. There it is, Get, come up, sit on the ball, and let's curl. I like to keep my feet slightly staggered. It helps me to just um, be a bit more centered, gives me better control of the ball. Oh, my second round here with heavier guys is just not so fun anymore. <laughs> 
good. If that becomes very strenuous, yeah, it's getting very, very bite-like here, then hey, instead of going down to a lighter set, I keep working but single arm. And I'm not fast, not worried about speed today. You just wanna get those reps in and feel the intensity of the weight. Good. One more on each side to break even. Very good. Okay, we go one more round of chest press and biceps curl. Good. All right, roll in. Okay. Find your stability. Yeah, it feels a little bit like on a boat. And then go. And press. And press. There we go. Okay. Tighten the glutes. Don't let them sag down. Yeah, you want to keep your your abdominals and your quads lined up like you are a tabletop. Mm-hmm. Go, go. Yes. Ooh, I'm feeling it. It's coming. Good. One more, one more. And time. Very good. One last round of biceps curl here. <laughs> okay. Already. I'm gonna give as many as I can with single, uh, with double arm. I have the impression I have to change to single here. Ugh, it's getting really, really nasty. <laughs> Good. Okay, I'm gonna go four more. <sighs> Press in. Two. Three. Yep. Okay, single arm to the end. <sighs> okay, we're getting there. Two. Three. And four. Already. Come on, come on. And five. Six. Two more. Yes. Seven. And eight. That's awesome. Hey, we are not quite done here, but I'm going to release my heavy guys. Going to go back to light. And our chest workout is changing slightly. We are going to do the chest fly right now. So come back to that same position here. Booty tight. This time your wrists are facing each other. Drop the elbows out and in. So you're opening your arms like you were going to give somebody a big, big hug. Very nice. And again, we're going to have three rounds of chest fly interspersed with biceps curls. Now listen, just have the impression here that you're pulling the floor <laughs> up with you, see? Right there. So it's more of a pull sensation than a press. One more, and time, good. Here we go. Biceps curls, but we add a shoulder press. Just a little flavor on the shoulders here today. Curl, press. And that's all we're gonna hang out with here right now. And hey, so you know, I am not changing to heavier weights. Chest flies, 10 pounds is perfect. If I had 12 pound dumbbells, I would probably go for those. But I don't own them yet. So 15, I know, will be too harsh. Okay, now look at this press here. You're keeping your wrists facing you as you press. Again, single arm is always your option if things start getting a little sour. Make sense? Yes. Okay, that was round one. Round two coming up, same deal. Okay, stabilize yourself. Booty squeeze, abdominals tight, and a slight bend on your elbow. There we go, as you drop, so your shoulder kind of slightly touches the ball and it gives you a little bit of boost. Yeah, so you can propel your arms up. Yeah. Okay, now we're fighting the resistance, aren't we? Mm-hmm, good for you. Keep working. <sighs> Breathe in. <sighs> and out. Nice, working steady. 
I'm sure my timer is gonna beep shortly. There it is. One more. Nice. Are you ready? Come up to sitting. Same deal, no change in weights. A deep breath was all I needed there. Okay, curl and press. Good. Curl and press. All right. Keep your feet slightly staggered. Mm hmm. Okay, remember this? This works. If that gets you through the work, hey, take it. All right. And press. All right. Okay, come on. This was round two out of three. Mm hmm. All righty. Still have stuff to do, so stay put, stay put. Nice. All righty. Back to the chest fly, your last round here. Very good. Stabilize, feet directly under the knee. Okay, and go. Out and fly. Down and fly. Coordinate your breathing right here. Breathe in and out as you lift. Good job. And go. Nice. Hands are fidgeting. <laughs> and come on, come on, get it done. Oh, lovely. Good one. One more. Nice. Good. Good job. Okay. Breathe. <laughs> okay. One more set of curls to press. Go. Curl. Press. Curl, press, very good. Ooh, I'm sweaty, how about you? My fan is not blowing on me. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, I'm so hot. Okay, keep moving, keep moving. It's not gonna last forever. Yeah, right on, come on. Okay, four more. Good, last two. Give me one. And done. Good. Ah, shake it out. Good job. Give it a little stretch here and a little stretch there. Okay, next block, block two. Um, we are going to need the balance ball and your mat. Here in block two, you don't need your dumbbells. So if you take a moment to put them away, do that. Also, you will need your ball still and you need your mat. All right. We have three exercises, two rounds, 45 seconds each move. First round is the right side, second round is the left side. So let's get set up. Bring your ball right here under your right arm and bring your right knee on the floor. Lift the left leg and tuck in the knee. Tuck in, two more. And here is your right hand giving the support. Now, bring that left arm over your head. Two more on the leg. Very good. And here, add that elbow towards the knee. There, got that? All good. I need four more, come on. Give me four. And three, two, and one, very good, okay. Roll over onto your ball so that the ball is right here by your belly and that your chest is fairly free. Hands on the floor, lift your knees, toes on the floor. Now bring one knee slightly in, just a little bit. Now, if you have a better reach here, go with your full hand on the floor. And with that in mind, Tuck that knee in a little bit more closer towards you. And that is your move. If this is very difficult, we could still bring that other knee down and use the squishiness of the ball to support you and get 
this work done. All right, keep going. Two more. One and two. Right on. Good. Come up and sit on the ball. All right, now hold yourself here nice and steady on the ball. Bring your feet slightly forward. Left knee towards you. Towards you and across. Good. Now release and twist. Careful, that could make you lose your balance. There we go. And keep this move right here. Of course, you're gonna have to fight the instability. So if you need your hands on the ball, go for it. And slightly keep always twisting towards the right side. Well done. Good. Couple more. Three. Two and one. It is time now for the other side. So let's set up. Let me just shift my mat here really quick for video purposes. All right. This time you bring the ball under your left side. Your left knee is down. Bring your hand here on your waist. Lift that right leg and give me four. Four knee tucks. Three, two, and one. Now with your arm over your head, give me another four. Three. Hold on here. Two and one. Let's add the elbow towards the knee. Good. Yeah. That's where the whole scope of the move is at. Yeah, and that's where we start feeling ooh, that side muscle giving its 100%, right? Very good. Hey, timer. Give me another four. Three. There is two and one. Well done. All right, turn over. Bailey on the ball. And here we go. Hold on with your fingertips or simply, um, or it's a bit harder though, with your heart, whole hand on the floor. Okay, here we go. Right leg, knee tuck. A tiny little tuck at first will do. Remember that that other knee may come down. <sighs> yep. Preferably, if we could work here, we will get more out of this move. Right on. Okay, full hand on the floor and go all the way. Use the ball for your advantage. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, steady there. Hi, Mark. There it is. Ah, good. Okay, four more. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Right on. Come up to seated. Right leg moves this time. And at first, hold on here and move up and across. Up and across. So not just here. We want it that way. Kind of shooting towards the back. Hey, and then with time, let go and work with the balance there as well. You have it. And if that feels like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna topple over, I don't want it to. <laughs> then hold on to the ball and keep working. Um, keep practicing to balance. Allow your body to struggle with instability. It's just downright good for you, I tell you. There is four and three and two and one very nice that was it now bring the ball a bit further so sit right in the middle of the ball keep your knees very wide okay bring your right elbow just above the knee and give me a good side bend right here and don't release it right away just stay with it for a little bit more good okay other side come in here and all over. Nice. Release. Extend your legs slightly and tilt forward. Try to find the floor. If that's not coming, then hold on right here. So, 
want to look into crawling towards the right, crawling your fingers towards the left. Or keep moving from side to side here. Yeah. Okay, one more here and one more here. Good. Now, try to extend your legs fully. Sit tall. You gotta be very much on the farther edge of the ball. And then lift your arms. Good. Hey, arms straight and bend. Lift, arms straight and bend. Keep your legs super straight. Come on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Give me one more on each side. Nice. Now tuck your legs in together. Keep the knees bent. All right. Left arm over the right knee. Hold on to the ball. Push that hand um, against your knee and twist all the way towards the right side. And then take all that to the left. Well done. Good job. If you have completed the workout today, please give me a comment. I'd like to hear from you and click a like on the video as well. Hey, consider also joining me on Patreon. It is there that I offer longer workouts and there is a total body scope workout and total flexibility workout happening there every single month. You may subscribe for $15 a month and you get all that. Two new workouts not available here on YouTube every single month. I would check it out because it's really good stuff. Hey guys, thank you so much for working out with me. Looking forward already to our next one. So please, please send me a comment. I totally want to hear from you. Okay, bye.